My father died when he was 67. His only grandchild was my son Ari, who was 15 months at the time. He's now 32. We established what we called the Grandpa Harry Gift Fund. And what we told our kids was that my father, knowing that he was going to die, wanted to be represented at all of their different functions, their birthdays, their bar mitzvah, their bat mitzvah, their weddings, their graduations, and so that he had left a little bit of money on the side for us to be able to make sure that he was represented in all of these different events. And my kids got to know my father in a very special way when we started buying stock for them. Disney, McDonald's, the Boston Celtics. Stocks that we thought that they would enjoy owning. And that became something very significant. So keeping memory alive in any kind of a way can be a very special thing for kids as they grow up. And even though that person's not there to share their life in a physical sense, that they can still be with them and still be a part of their life is really, I think, the goal. Each one of my kids received their first bike from the Grandpa Harry Gift Fund. Those were very significant bikes. And again, they didn't know my dad, but um, they also did not know our daughter that died. And we have made her a very big part of our lives. And I think that's a very important thing that even though they didn't know them, they still have a sense of who the people that shaped our lives, who then helped to shape their lives were. It's important to find a way to make sure that it's okay to talk about people that have died and in a way that you know we can share memory and bring things to a level that they understand who it is that the people that um, have made them the people that they are even if they haven't met them.